episode, we will take you on a journey where we're trolling for kingfish around Gulf Shrimpers and the usual oil and gas platforms that we troll uh, along the Texas Gulf Coast. The second half of the split shrimping season along the Texas Gulf Coast opened up on Friday, July 16th. So we expected to see a lot of shrimpers this weekend. And we did indeed. Enjoy the video. And so here we are, 45 minutes later, we reach our first spot. We decide to throw in a couple of lines and give it a shot and see what we can get. not one bite at that first spot but we knew that the shrimpers were out in full force so we hit them next we started with the saint joseph and then headed towards the lady christine like a bird on a tree i'm just sitting here I got time, it's clear to see From up here, the world seems small We can sit together It's so beautiful, you and me we meant to be Forever. A couple of passes around the Lady Christine and we noted a lot of bait fish busting the surface of the water. Now that was a promising sign. Suddenly, a pot of porpoises decided to join us on the port side of the boat as they were feasting on the small fish coming off the shrimpers. And just like that, they were gone. It was now close to lunchtime and we had not caught a single fish. So we decided to moor to one of the pipe stands and have our lunch while we scouted the area further. So while we are having our lunch, we see a couple of large boats circling the area with their outriggers out. So we were losing hope, but we saw that they were not catching anything either. Alright, we had enough of this. We have finished our lunch 
Let's go hit the shrimpers again. I know there's some fish around here. And so we headed back to the Lady Christine, which was more to a pipe stand. I had a good feeling about this this time. There was a lot of action on the water, lots of bait fish running around, and lots of birds working. And just like that, the commotion began at the back of the boat. I knew we were onto something. We finally caught our first fish. pretty hard day so far. It was after lunchtime and we were barely catching our first fish. I was happy to see someone really in something today. Great, caught the first fish of the day and we were all feeling a bit encouraged. It was still early in the afternoon and it was time to go hit it again. Rolled around some more and by mid-afternoon we still only had one fish for the day. We had lost two lures as fish kept breaking us off and no one out here was catching any fish. It was a little bit frustrating by then. And suddenly we heard that beautiful sound of the drag on the reel. We knew we were on to fish number two.
fish number two turned out to be a pretty nice canvas whale. Unfortunately, it was only fish number two and it was pretty late in the afternoon. So we decided that we would pick everything up and head back a little closer to shore so that we wouldn't be so far out at the end of the day. And then we would fish in a little bit shallower waters. We hit a couple of spots on the way back with no success. We ended up with only the two kingfish for the day. It proved to be a tough day fishing. No one out there that we spoke with was catching the fish. As we approached the shore, notice the color change going from blue water to green water. And as we get closer to the mouth of the river where we come out, you will notice the water is very muddy and brown. That is partly due to the heavy rainfall that we have experienced on the Texas Gulf Coast within the last week. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Fishing with Ralph. For more fun fishing videos, click like or subscribe or share the videos. Thank you.